Hi guys, here is Design Made and today I am driving a very special car it's a Porsche Cayman GTS with a 4 liter engine it's a very special car uh, it has a red exterior and a black interior with some red uh, stitches uh, yeah, it looks very nice I'm gonna drive it on the highway and then I take it to the country road just uh, tell you something about this uh, very one of the last uh, luxury aspirated uh, Porsche Boxster engines. So I'm very curious about it. Um, have fun, join it, come with me. Let's go on. about this car Porsche uh, bring back uh, the yeah Porsche bring back the bigger engine and this time it's a 4 liter not sure aspirated with uh, 420 horsepower and uh, it's a very nice uh, high revving engine it revs until 7800 rpm so we're gonna test it soon just let get uh, the engine a little bit warmer uh, so I'm gonna drive it to the mountain road which is one of my favorite mountain road here in the area I show you the exterior uh, I show you the sun some uh, yeah, some driving experiences some country roads some POVs so uh, let's hit, let's open the uh, exhaust and uh, yeah, start to drive it. Uh, now I'm hitting the highway section. Very easily, you don't have to searching in a 
So it's like an everyday usable uh, GT4 almost. You have a high revving engine, you have uh, a stiff suspension, um, you have the nice uh, Cayman styling. Uh, but you can use it every day. You have the, the suspension is not that hard as in a GT4. Okay, you can order uh, a similar uh, hard um, suspension to this car as well. Uh, but in this case, you can use it every day uh, for longer trips. If you are not preferring to ride uh, this car all the time or on a track or a lot of time on a track, probably is a better choice for you. It costs a little bit less, of course, but uh, also it's more comfortable, it's easy to live with. Um, of course, it's less special, but I would say this car is still going to have a high value. So it's an also a good investment uh, for, uh, for a long period, because also it's one of the last naturally aspirated engines. Um, it's, yeah, it's a sleek looking, a small sporty vehicle which we won't have uh, soon anymore with uh, a combustion engine of course in the in future we're gonna have other small vehicles with a nice electric engine but it's completely different experience and it's also going to be good uh, but yeah it's a different experience so I just show you some of the features of the design uh, what is special on the on a GTS so let's uh, start with the front. So the front, the front uh, has an own uh, spoiler, or, or um, it has an own front bumper with own styling. So it's it's not like the GT4. It's not like the the normal Cayman. It has a bigger air take compared to the to a normal Cayman. So you can see there is a cooling cooling here and also cooling over here. Uh, and they integrated this in a very simple shape, shape, and it still uh, looks uh, aggressive enough uh, from the front. It looks uh, nice and decent. So it's not a, a show-off car. You can drive it uh, easily without knowing any anybody knowing uh, that it's a special Cayman. Yeah, I also like this in in a. In a carousery integrated uh, um, indicator light, uh, I call this is integrated shaping because everything is part of the car. It's like one sculpture. Also, the the mirrors are very nice and classy. You can the air can flow through here and this opening was very nicely shaped. All right, dynamic. You have other two big uh, air intakes for the engine from here. So yeah, it's four liter, so it it sucks a lot of engine inside. It has normal steel brake calipers, a very nicely styled um, wheel set. Probably I would go for a glossy, glossy black, but uh, yeah, matte black, uh, matte black looks uh, also uh, good. The good thing, the car don't have any rust sunroof. Yeah, it has a. Actually, I am. Um, yep. Yeah, to the back, I I really liked the back of the 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 first version of the um, came in as it came out the, the second generation because it has an uh, integrated uh, spoiler lip which is run out in the light. Some of the customer didn't like it, but I have to say this bag with the. With the Porsche lettering, it's also very nicely shaped and looks very integrated with the, the blacked out uh, interior and also some very nice uh, fine details around this area. And uh, the back, actually it has almost the same rear diffuser as the the GT4 has um, yeah you have a very similar exhaust uh, optic so it's they are kind of in a little bit center to the middle uh, 
compared to the normal uh, compared to the no uh, normal Cayman, which is in the in the center, uh, the double uh, exhaust. Here is uh, is is a little bit. It has a it has more sporty look. Of course, this is a. Uh, I don't know. It's fake. Maybe it's not. Uh, it has a nicely shaped uh, diffuser, which is uh, decent. It's just uh, plastic, no carbon fiber here. But uh, maybe it would be an option to to upgrade this if it's possible. I have to check it. But all the all, all in all, I really like uh, this uh, very simple shaped but very integrated uh, look uh, look details like uh, like a very simple detail like this uh, this prism or uh, also the spoiler lip has a nice control surface which is running here through and gets integrated in uh, in this back uh, shape this line uh, makes the car looks uh, more stable more um, it has a stronger appearance maybe i can show it in some different angle so it has a very strong appearance through this uh, edge here and it makes like it looks like a shoulder so it looks like a shoulder and uh, these these fine edges they are coming all the way uh, they are running out and coming out again also here in the hood you have this this edge which is just begins here on the front and creates here a, a, a strong muscular element and then here gets to the very smooth surfaces which is very Porsche like and goes into the into the body panel and then just start another line here which is integrates uh, the, um, the air intakes to the engine so all in all it's a very nice design it's very clean it's very timeless you you can say any any wrong about it that okay I, I don't like this uh, uh, a detail uh, it looks uh, ugly or, or something it's very nicely designed okay it's a Porsche uh, Porsche has a very big team of designer. Uh, the, the chief exterior designer uh, of Porsche is a Hungarian guy, uh, Peter Varga. Uh, he started with the uh, last generation 9, 911, or it was one of the, his uh, first bigger uh, uh, jobs. And I really like the, the, this new area of the body language of Porsches. And now they're creating uh, some really nice shaped car like the new 911 like the, this Cayman or even the Taycan let's show you around in the interior it has it virtual to look it has uh, Alcantara all the way it has Alcantara seats uh, a very nicely uh, sized and shaped uh, steering wheel with uh, some uh, silver with some silver uh, details looks very good I also really like the in the in the middle of the the dashboard the gauge clusters. It lets you focus on the driving. You can see all the the way the revs. So yeah, it's a driver's car. So it it, it makes sense to see uh, the most important information. So you cannot concentrate anything other. Just check. Okay, now I have to uh, shift. And uh, yeah, it works. It works very well. The seats are just uh, the normal, the normal uh, um, sports seat from Porsche, so it's nothing uh, fancy carbon or um, like in a GT4, uh, um, a really uh, sporty sports seat. But you can ha you see all the way these red uh, details, which I, I really like. It fits to the to the um, to the color of the exterior very well, and. Yeah, it's in chrono package, so you get uh, this very classy uh, chrono gauge. And uh, what what more important is, you have this uh, sport chrono setting button, so you can choose between different options like normal, sport, sport plus, and individual.
very typical Porsche sun. It sun it sounds very racy. I have now the sport exhaust on, so I have a little bit more sun. It's it's very it's very enjoyable. It's not too loud. I mean, for my taste, it could be a bit louder as well, but uh, actually, it's perfect. So, if you wanna buy a car without do anything with it, probably is one of them uh, to go for it. My favorite part of the car is the the dashboard, the, the, the gauge clusters. because of the side of the car it's also a very uh, big point from my side that uh, you can take this car everywhere you have enough space on the road uh, with this car but the most important is behind your shoulder is that four liter naturally aspirated engine which is just a sound of an orchestra it's one of the best engine before everything goes electric so if you have the money uh, yeah go for it subscribe my channel design made follow me on instagram the design made and uh, see you soon bye bye